can have a head start next time, but I'll still win. <laughs> uh, 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 just let me get turned around here. Uh, dear, give me a push, will you? Aye. Uh, yow! Buzzy, are you all right? Aye, Captain, but I can't get the Yorker to budge. Oh, I don't feel very well. Is it just me or is it getting really hot? Quasi, there's a bucket in the gup. Will you grab it and pour some water over the orca? He needs water to stay healthy. Aye, aye, Captain. If I could just... <laughs> oh. oh, no, I'm stuck and I can't stay out of the water for long. Don't worry. On my honour as an octonaut, I promise that we will get you off this beach. In the meantime, Quasi will keep you cool. Oh, thanks. Octonauts, the orca is stuck on the beach. Our mission is to get him back into the water. Until then, we must keep our whale friend cool and wet. I'm on my way, Captain. Tunip, if you don't mind, I could use some help from the Vegimals. <laughs> the orca is too heavy to move himself when he's on land. If the orca can't move himself, We'll have to move the orca. Tweak, we need you here as soon as possible. Right away, Cap. Hey, I hear my pod calling to me. Oh no, all of the orcas are heading straight for the beach. Quasi, keep pouring. I'll be right back. Stop! Please, let us pass. We must go after our cousin. If you go too close to the beach, you'll get stuck as well. We're his pod. Members of a pod always do what they can to help each other. You can count on the Octonauts to bring him back to the pod safe and sound. But there must be something we can do to help. Well, I know it cheers him to hear your voices. Maybe you could sing to him. All right, Captain. We shall sing to him. Great white shark straight ahead. Attention shark. We are the Octonauts and we're here to help. Ooh, that looks tasty. If it's all right, I'd like to take a look at your fin. Then I can... As I was saying, I... Oh, I know I should just say thank you for trying to help me. But a shark's got to eat. <laughs> you can't eat the cup eggs. He's getting tired, and if he gets too tired, he'll stop moving and he won't be able to breathe. Then we need to act fast. Quasi, can you go out there and distract the shark while I flip him over? My pleasure, Captain. Yow! And you know, see, I'm trying to eat. You can't take a bite out of that. Plus, I'm a lot tastier. Seriously? Ooh, I'll try anything once. Well, you'll have to catch me first, matey. Woohoo! Oh, my fin hurts. Mm, but I'm still going to get you. <laughs> Here, shocky, shocky. Follow me this way. Good work, Quasi. And flip! Oh, I feel so calm. Do you still want to eat us? Why would I want to eat you? I just want to be your friend. Captain, he's in a trance. Calm as a clam. Time for the next part of the plan. <laughs> that kind of tickles. <laughs> Good for a ride. Okay, the shark is calm, he's moving, and he's breathing. Now I can bandage his fin. Be careful, Peso, and quick. The shark won't be calm for long. Right-o, Peso. 
nice and steady. <laughs> Ooh, a wee penguin. I'm here to bandage your fin. <laughs> that tickles, Pop. <laughs> Uh-oh, I didn't know you were ticklish. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Steady. Just have to get down to the fin. <laughs> okay, I think this calls for a super speedy triple loop around the shark fin rack. Hurry, Peso. He could come out of his trance any second. There. Good as new. How do you feel? Oh, good. I'm hungry. Oh, no. You're out of your trance. We'll have to come back another time, Shellington. Everyone to the gup. So, did you find a creature nobody's ever seen before? Ah, uh, no. I didn't find anything new to put on my empty pages. I wish we'd found something big and scary, like a giant fishopotamus. Well, we did find this interesting rock with holes in it. Mm. Hey. Wow, look at the color. <gasps> I think there's something alive in here. Where am I? You're on the octopod. Huh? My house? It's broken. No worries, little guy. We can put your house back together faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Okay, but hurry. I'm freezing. And this light hurts my eyes. You live in the midnight zone where it's always dark and the hydrothermal vents are very hot. The octopod must seem very strange to you. Oh, I want to go home. Tweak will fix your house and then we'll take you home to the Midnight Zone as fast as we can. In the meantime, we'll do our best to make you more comfortable. How's that? Warm enough? Dark enough? Better. For now. Thanks. First, we have to work out how the tunnels connect to each other. Give this a try. <laughs> Wrong. Okay, let me try again. <laughs> Wrong. Hold on. Yeah. That ought to do it. <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong. The holes don't line up. I keep bumping my head. Don't worry. We won't give up until we've worked it out. Hmm. You know, we've been looking at this problem from the outside. But we need to take a look from the inside. I bet Dashie can help us. With this tiny video camera, we'll be able to see your tunnels from the inside. I call it the worm cam. Ready? Ready! Dead end. The holes are still not lining up. Another dead end. <gasps> Octonauts, let's search the area. I'll head right, Quasi. You head left and... I'll stay right here with the penguin. The name's Claude, but my friends call me... The Claw! On account of the fact that I like to crack coconuts open with it. But I'm not a coconut. Ah, sorry. Don't worry, you're not very crackable. <laughs> Hello, darling. Look, there's my wife, Claudette. But her friends call her... The Claw! These here are my sons, Clive, Clem and Clarence. But you can call us... The Claws? Uh, yeah. How did you guess? Yeah, how did you guess? I want to thank you all for finding this here coconut of ours. It rolled into the ocean days ago, and since we can't swim, we couldn't go after it. Now, if you don't mind, we'll be taking it on home where it belongs. Just drop anchor right there. That's my coconut. 
Now hold on, son. This coconut's belonged to us for many years, so it stays with us. Yeah, yeah, it stays with us. But that very same coconut bears the mark of me grandfather, Calico Jack. <gasps> you and Calico Jack are family? Oh, well, uh, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. Thanks. So maybe you'd like to tell me how you ended up with my grandfather's coconut. It was many years ago that Calico Jack washed up on the shores of this here very island. He was shipwrecked and hungry. We nursed him back to health with coconut milk, and in return, he told us rip-roaring tales of the open sea. When we woke, he was gone. No note, no nothing. Just this coconut, which we've been trying to crack open ever since. It's downright embarrassing. I mean, cracking coconuts is what we do. Yeah, it's what we do. Well, we couldn't crack it, and you couldn't crack it. Perhaps if we work together, we can all crack it. Then let's get cracking. You two crack while we pull. One, two, three. Crack! Keep pulling! Tweak, deploy the rescue suction line. Aye, aye, Kev. Those coconut crabs are landlubbers. Those boys can't swim. Then we need to move fast. Tweak, Quasi, Claude, into the Gup X and bring some coconuts. 